Good morning, good morning, people of God. How are you doing this morning? I hope and pray you're doing well. Praise the Lord. Happy Thursday. The last day of November. We made it, people of God. What a blessing. <coughs> what a blessing. Praise the Lord. Today is the last day of this month of November. It's been such a blessing to pray with you this whole month of November. <clears throat> Usually I, you know, we, we partake communion at the end of each broadcast, but I have a lot going on and I totally forgot about communion. So we're going to skip this month. We'll see maybe next, next month if we do something. Well, next month I'm going to be traveling. So yeah, uh, I apologize about that. I have a lot going on. <laughs> You know, we are living, we're getting ready to go overseas in, what, we're living on in December the 6th, so we have a lot to get ready before our trip, and yesterday I was really busy because I, I um, we had to drive, we drove yesterday uh, from Orlando all the way to Miami, three hours and a half one way and three hours and a half back. So we spent seven hours yesterday traveling and I'm telling you, bear with me this morning. I'm really tired. How many of you know that we're humans? <laughs> How many of you know that we get tired? Yeah, we had to go to Miami yesterday and uh, we got a lot of traffic on our way in. <coughs> and uh, it coming back was not as bad, but it took us three hours and a half. But praise the Lord, people of God. It's good to be here this morning with you. Amen. We're going to call upon Jesus today. I just want to finish by taking a time to praise the Lord for this month. Amen. We've been asking a lot this month. Amen. We've been praying, standing in faith. <clears throat> and uh, today I just want to take some time. I almost didn't come online. I was just too tired. We got home was about 11 at night yesterday and you know traveling it was our first time traveling with Sophie long distance our daughter she's four and uh, this this was her first a long trip you know car trip <clears throat> seven hours and we had to stop a few times but she did good. And, uh, but praise the Lord. So I just want to take some time to praise the Lord this morning with you. To thank the Lord for all that he is doing in us. I was studying the word this morning. I was studying the book of Psalms, chapter 107. And I would encourage you to take the time to read this whole chapter. What a blessing. What a beautiful chapter. <clears throat> Verse 1 says this. Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy is for his steadfast love endures forever. 
Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. We are the redeemed of the Lord. <coughs> Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me about that. Oh. <clears throat> Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who, whom he has redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Amen. Verse 6, the Bible says, Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from all their distress. He led them by a straight way till they reached a city to dwell. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Just read this whole chapter. You'll be blessed by it. I was reading this verse, this the, this chapter this morning. It really blessed me. And um, I'd encourage you to do that. Let us pray. Amen. Let's thank the Lord. I don't want it to go, I don't want to go too long this morning. I just want to bless you pray with you thank the lord for this last day we did it third you know we took this whole month to pray to see god amen monday through friday every day praying together and here we are at the last day and we want to thank the lord for his faithfulness and for all for all that he's doing amen let's thank the lord for all that he is doing in us and through us amen Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Let us pray. Let us call upon the Lord. Let us call upon Jesus. Amen. This morning, let's just thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Amen. If you have a, a need, a prayer request, you can lift up to the Lord. But let's just take the time to thank the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord for His goodness. Thank the Lord for His protections. Thank the Lord for His blessings. Amen. God is faithful. God protects. God is good. Amen. He is good. You know, yesterday, I forgot to mention, yesterday we were driving, you know, to, to Miami. And when we got to Miami... I've never seen an accident in front of me like that. But a, a motorcycle guy, he fell from his bike. Two cars in front of a horse. Okay, there's like uh, there's two cars in front of us. And he fell and, you know, and all the cars stopped. And, uh, and this guy, I'm telling you, what a... What a sad thing. My goodness. He was alive, but he was pretty, pretty wounded. But right, right in front of us, you know, two cars in front of us. And uh, <clears throat> and everybody is honk. Everybody wants to, you know, pass by. Nobody wants to wait, you know, to help this guy. And it's just, you know, but I thank God for... <clears throat> all the cars that stopped to help this young man, he felt from his bike, he was going really fast. He was going really fast and he felt. <coughs> and the car in front of us it stopped so fast and we stopped. And I had no idea what was going on. And the guy was just sitting in a, you know, sitting there and all wounded 
and the car in front of us it was two doctors, two nurses. Isn't that isn't that beautiful? There's two nurses in front, the car in front of us. There's two mer uh, uh, nurses driving, and, and, and they stopped and immediately they run, they run, they run to the guy and start helping him. <clears throat> and so, you know, I thank God that you know the guy made a life. He was, you know, he was wounded, but he was he was okay for what we saw. And uh, and I thank God that you know God protect us as well, because the the cars they they stopped so fast, and uh, so in the car behind us you know stopped as well. So it it was it, it was the protection of the Lord, Amen. Well, that's how I see, and I you know I think about how many deliverances. How many protections that God brought into our lives that we're not even aware of? I mean, how many rescue, how many times the Lord comes and He rescues us, He protects us, He saves us, amen, He keeps us safe, and we, we are not even aware of, amen. God is always protecting us, always protecting us, <clears throat> amen. <clears throat> I look for every opportunity that I can, every opportunity to praise the Lord. I look for every opportunity, you know, and that's how we are to live. If we don't pay attention to details of life, if we don't pay attention to what happens in our day, Amen. And 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 stop and, and thank the Lord. You know, we're just gonna we're never gonna appreciate the you know God. We're never gonna appreciate his protection, his blessings, you know, over us. We have to learn to be thankful, to be grateful for all the blessings, all the protections of the Lord in our lives. <coughs> Amen. You know, can you imagine the guy, he's there, you know, he just got in an accident. He just, you know, all wounded. And two, two nurses come out of the car in front of him and start giving him assistance. I was thank the Lord for that. I was like, man, if there was not, if, if there was not this nurses, you know, helping this guy, you know, they start helping him and, and they call, you know. The ambulance, they called, you know, uh, they called for help. And uh, so God is good, amen. God is good. And let's continue to thank the Lord for his goodness. <coughs> amen. Let us praise the Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord for his goodness. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your faithfulness. I thank you so much for your kindness. I thank you so much for all that you have done in this month of November. Here we are at the end of another month, at the end of this month of November. We're never going to see this month again. This month will never come back again. November 23, it's uh, pretty much gone. We're never going to see this month. But I thank you for all the answers and blessings that will come into our lives in the days to come from all the prayers that we prayed in this month of November. God Almighty, I thank you so much for all that you're going to do. I thank you so much for all that you have done. And today we just want to thank you for your faithfulness. <coughs> I want to thank you. I want to take this time this morning to thank you for your goodness. 
God Almighty, help us to be more aware, more aware of your goodness. We see the goodness of the Lord on a daily basis. Every day we have a reason to praise you. We have a reason to worship you. Even in hard situations, even when things are not going well, there's still plenty of opportunity to praise you. And help us, Lord God, help us to look, help us to find reasons in our lives to praise you. Help us to grow, Lord God, in this area of gratefulness, in this area of thankfulness, in this area of giving you praise and worship and honor. Father God, we pray this morning. We pray, Lord God, a prayer of gratitude, of thankfulness. We approach you this morning not to ask you, but to thank you. To thank you for all the protections and all the deliverances. To thank you for every single time that you have come through for us that we're not even aware of. How many times, how many times you have come through for us and we didn't even pay them. We didn't take the time to thank you, God. We didn't even pay attention at the protection and the deliverance that you brought into our lives. God Almighty, you are faithful. You are good. You are a good, good God that deserves all the glory and the praise. You are a good God, worthy of our praise, worthy of our adoration, worthy. You are worthy. <coughs> this morning, we say thank you for your faithfulness. This morning we say thank you for this month of November. Thank you for all the prayer requests, all the answers, all the miracles, the blessings that you brought into our lives in this month. I thank you, God, because you answer prayers. And I know that many things will come and unfold Lord God, as a result of this month, this dedication of prayer, I thank you for what you're going to do. And I thank you for what you, for what you have done. Beautiful, beautiful are the works of your hands. You are perfect in all your ways. You are beautiful in all your ways. I worship you. I praise you. I give you the honor. I give you the glory. I give you all the glory. God Almighty, we thank you. We thank you for your protection. Your protection upon our families. We thank you for your protection. Lord God, in our workplace, we thank you for your protection as we are driving on the freeway just like yesterday I saw your protection in front of my very eyes. I cannot say, I cannot, I don't see that, Lord God, there's a lucky because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in lucky. I believe in blessings. I believe in protections. God Almighty, that was not a lucky thing. That was the very hand of heaven. That was your hand of protecting us and protecting all of us. And in particular, that young man, protecting him. The cars could have ran over him and killed him. But Lord God, you protect that young man. And I pray this morning with my brothers and sisters that wherever he is, that he will come to the knowledge of you, that he will see that, Lord God, that he will see that as a, as a rescue, as a, as a protection from heaven, 
that if he is not saved yet, that he will come into a place of salvation, that he will come into a place of full surrender, that he will see that as your mercy and grace. God Almighty, I thank you for your protection. How many times you protect us. How many times you spare our lives. You protect us from accidents. You protect us from losses. You protect us from harms. You protect us, Lord God. And we are not even aware of. God Almighty, I pray. With all my heart. With all the faith within me. I pray for my brother, my sister. And I pray for myself. I pray for us this morning. That you give us a sensitivity to be more aware of the work of your hands. Help us. We live in such a busy, Lord God, a busy time. We are so busy. Everything is so, it moves so fast. Everything is so busy around us. Lord God, that we forget to stop and to thank. Oh God, I pray, help us to be more aware. Help us to be more aware of your faithfulness, of your protection, of your blessings. That pleases you. You deserve all the glory and all the honor. Oh God, your word says, let the redeem, let the redeem of the Lord say so. We're going to continue to say. We're going to continue to testify. We're going to continue to give you all the praise and all the glory. Because you alone, you alone are worthy of our praise and our adoration. Father, I thank you. I thank you for this month. I thank you, Lord God, for this month of, the, of November. Lord God, another month is gone. Another month. Is gone. December is here. Oh, God Almighty, I pray. Help us to finish this year strong. Help us, Lord God, to develop. Help us to develop a grateful heart. A thankful heart. Help us to look for every opportunity. Instead of complaining and murmuring. Instead of getting mad, upset, and always giving in to negativity, help us to look for opportunities to praise your name because it pleases you. We don't want to ever be ungrateful. We don't want to ever take the blessings for granted. We don't want to ever be ungrateful. We want to be thankful. We want to be grateful. We want to worship and to praise your name for all that you have done. And so, Father, I praise you for your goodness. I praise you for your faithfulness. I praise you for this month. I praise you for what you're going to do in the month of December. I praise you because you're good, because you are faithful. I praise you and I worship you. And I pray for my brother, my sister. God Almighty, I pray that you bless your people. I pray, Lord God, that you speak to every precious soul praying with me this morning. Every brother and sister, I pray that you strengthen them in their faith. I pray, Father God, that, they, that you continue to strengthen them in the Holy Spirit. Continue to, Lord God, to speak in the deepest part of their hearts. I pray, Lord God, that you bless them. Bless them. Bless them with divine protection. Bless them. Lord God, in their home, in their families. Lord God, bless them while they are driving. Lord God, running errands as they are driving back and forth. Uh, Lord God, from work, as they are driving to work, ba driving back home, I pray, God Almighty, let your angels encamp around them. 
I pray, Lord God, that you release angelic help, release angels on their behalf, protect them from the evil one, protecting them, Lord God, from every assignment of the wicked one. Deliver them, keep them safe, bless them in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus, I pray. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for all that you have done. I bless you and I worship you. Come on, my brother, my sister, lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up to the Lord and just thank the Lord. Say, God, I thank you for all that you have done, for all that you did in my life. In this month of November, I thank you for all the blessings that will continue to unfold. All the blessings that will continue to come as I keep trusting and believing you. Say, God Almighty, I worship you. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. You are worthy. <coughs> you are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you. <coughs> I bless you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep developing a grateful heart. How do you grow in this area? How do you grow in thankfulness? It's simple. Look for every opportunity. If somebody opens the door for you, thank the Lord. If somebody do an act of kindness to you, thank the Lord. If somebody treats you nice, thank the Lord. If somebody treats you bad, thank the Lord. Every opportunity, you take that opportunity as a way of saying, Thank God for your faithfulness. You are good. You are good. You are faithful. Amen. That's how you grow in gratitude. That's how we grow. We look for every opportunity. Instead of murmuring, getting upset, instead of getting caught up into murmuring, complaining, and being upset, we just thank the Lord, say, thank you, God. You deserve all the glory. You are faithful. People of God, that kind of attitude pleases God. That kind of attitude it, it, it speaks more than words. We can say all day long that we love the Lord, but it's all about action. Can we say that we love the Lord with our actions? Can we say with our actions that God is in the throne and that we love Him? By our action, by the way we live, we can really show that we love Him. That we're thankful that we're grateful. Amen. Praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brother, my sister. Receive. Receive what God is doing this morning. Receive. <clears throat> Every morning we have a reason to praise the Lord. When we wake up in the morning and we breathe, we wake up. That's a reason to praise the Lord. Amen. There's so many reasons to praise the Lord. And the more we develop a, a, a grateful heart, the less time we'll have to look into what's not working in our lives, the less time we'll, we'll have to look into what's not working, 
the less time we'll have to complain. People of God, this way of living, it's contagious. When people look at us and, and they see this attitude of the heart, we, that we're grateful, that we're thankful, we're always thanking the Lord, we're always grateful, we always thank the Lord, I'll tell you, that it speaks more than words. Our actions matters. And I don't know about you, but I want this lifestyle for myself. I want to be a great. I want to be great at being grateful. Every opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. That was the work of your hands. That right there was you, God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Oh, people of God, we live this way and we find ourselves less and less murmuring and complaining and getting upset and losing our time, losing our cool. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a way of living. It's a, an attitude of the heart that pleases the Lord, that gives Him praise and honor. <clears throat> Amen. Praise the Lord. What a great blessing. My brother, my sister, it's been a great joy, a great honor to pray with you in this month of November. What a great joy. What a great blessing. I know that God is doing something awesome, something amazing in your life, in my life. Amen. It's been such a blessing praying with you this month. I want to remind you again that this month of December, okay, I'm going to be traveling. I, I'm going to be busy. I'm, I won't be able to pray with you as much this month, but the first uh, days of December, I will be here before my trip. I'm going to be leaving on December the 6th. And so I'll be praying until December. The I'll be praying with you until December the 6th. Yeah, because I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be leaving late in the day. So I'll be able to pray with you until December the 6th. Until Wednesday, December the 6th. I'll be praying with you in the morning. And then when I, when we get, we make our way to Brazil. Uh, when we get home in Brazil, I'll see if I can come live and pray with you again. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I will make some videos, some videos from there. I'm going to upload it here to the channel to bless you. <coughs> I appreciate. <clears throat> yes, I'll be here tomorrow. Okay, I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. Um, hold on here. To tomorrow is December. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, December the first. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here Saturday, and I'll be here Monday. I'll be Saturday, I'll be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, okay? Since I'm traveling, I'll be praying with you Saturday and Sunday so that we can pray as much as possible together. So this month of December, we, we uh, this month of November, we haven't prayed Saturday and Sunday, but beginning tomorrow, amen, December the 1st, I'll be praying with you Saturday and Sunday. Amen. So that we can spend more time here together. Praise the Lord. I hope that is clear. Praise the Lord. Let me pray this final prayer over you.
Then I have to get going. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Open your hands like this. Receive this final prayer in the name of Jesus. My brother and my sister, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. I bless you in the name of the Lord. My brother and my sister, I'm very honored and, pr and proud of you for your dedication in prayer. I bless you as your brother in Christ, as a minister of the gospel. I bless you for your perseverance, for your dedication to prayer, for putting God first in your life. I just want to say that I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of walking with you online. I'm so honored and blessed by God to be able to minister into your life and encourage you and pray with you every morning and to see you here every morning. That is such a blessing to my heart. It's such an honor to be able to walk with you this walk, a man of faith. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you this, amen, this, this last day of this month of November. And I pray that before this month is over, before this, uh, this, month, this month of November is over, I pray that the blessings of God will find you. I pray that God will continue to pour his blessings upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And I pray that the month of December will be awesome, will be powerful in your life, as well as you continue to put God first in your life. Remember, put Him first. Put God first. Put your relationship with Him first. And everything will flow. Everything will work out. I bless you in the name of Jesus. If you receive, say amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, I love you. Have a blessed, awesome, amen, day. And I'll see you tomorrow for more. Amen. Oh, yeah. Let me pray a final prayer for my ministry partners. And I want to say again, my ministry partners... Amen. Are those I see as my ministry partners, those who take the time to pray for my family and I, to pray for our prayer ministry. Amen. I count with you the same way that you count with my prayers. I count with your prayers. I need you as much as you need me. Amen. We all need each other. That's the body of Christ. Amen. We all need each other. And I thank you for your prayers, for standing with my family and I, for praying for us, covering us. I thank you, all the prayer warriors out there, every one of you that pray for us. May the Lord continue to bless you. And also those who support, amen. Those who support us, those who stand with us, amen. I really appreciate you. You don't need to give anything. I say this many times, you can watch us every single day. You can watch our prayers, you can get blessed by listening to us, and you don't need to support us, amen, but you do because you are grateful. I know that you give because you are grateful for what God is doing, and I cannot thank you enough for all the super chat, the super stickers, all the donations that comes through the links in the description of the video. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, and I do pray that God blesses you abundantly. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me pray a blessing over you. Father, I thank you for every single person man and woman, and my precious brothers and sisters, every one of them, Lord God, that they 
support this prayer channel. Lord God, with their prayers, with their finances, Lord God, they're always giving, they're always, Lord God, helping us to preach the gospel. And I pray, Father God, that you reward them. I pray, God Almighty, that you pour your blessings upon them, upon their families, upon the work of their hands. Lord God, I pray that you bless them financially, that you bless them with peace, that you bless them with open doors. I pray, Father God, that you open the windows of heaven and let blessings, showers of blessings come upon them. Father God, I pray that you bless them in their workplace, bless them in their career, bless them, Lord God, in their jobs, bless them with business ideas, new clients. I pray that you bless them with promotions, provisions, raises, bonuses, increase. Lord God, checks in the mails, open doors, inheritances. I pray, Lord God, bless them abundantly. Let them, Lord God, live a radical life of generosity. Let them be a blessing to those in need. Let them have more than enough to live well, to pay all their bills. Lord God, to manage well what comes to their hands. Lord God, and I pray that you bless them to have more than enough to help the homeless, to help those in need, to help, Lord God, the orphans and the widows, to help, Lord God, family members, those who are in need. Bless them, Lord God, to live a radical life of generosity because that pleases you. I bless my brother, my sister, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Shalom. Peace.